It's time for Talon Talk with the Second Combat Aviation Brigade on AFN the Eagle, serving America's best. Hey, two oh six. I had to turn your mic on, Sergeant O'Brill. I'm sorry. You were you were too excitable. I was dancing over here. <laughs> I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones, hanging out with you on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon, and that means it is. Time for Talent Talk with the Second Combat Aviation Brigade. Second, Second to none. none. Son, how excited I am to hey, be here. Hey, <laughs> I know you're excited. Tell our wonderful listeners why you're so excited, Sergeant O'Brien. Well, th- no, it's it's actually bittersweet. It's my last show. <laughs> Three years of Talent Talk. Say. It's my last show, folks. Thank you for tuning y- in. You are passing the uh, radio baton. That's right. Over to one Sergeant Jesse Smith, who is also joining us in the studio. Hello, Sergeant Smith. How's it going, guys? I just want to call him Jesse. That's a cool name. What's up, Jesse? <laughs> we can be like the common name <laughs> twins. That's it. Jones and Smith Incorporated. <laughs> Jones and Smith Incorporated. Talent Talk. And if you mess him with them, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta face Jesse. <laughs> 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 exactly. All right, tell us what you guys been doing this week over at Two Cab. Well, I tell you, well, first of all, I gotta give a, put a disclaimer out there. Instead of going uh, doing the Soldier of the Week, we're actually moving to Soldier of the Month. Oh. The stakes are high now, folks. Ooh. So we don't have a Soldier uh, of the Week, obviously, because we moved to Soldier of the Month. So when that Soldier of the Month comes out, folks, we're gonna let you know who that great soldier is over there at the Talon Brigade. Absolutely. Uh, lots of great things going on at uh, Camp Humphreys, but of course, the Talon Brigade is always holding it down. You know, just recently, and I think you were probably on this, Sergeant Smith, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I was. We, we kind of threw you right into the fire as soon as you got here. We had him go over and uh, cover his very first mission with uh, Humphreys Middle School oh. and the Humphreys High School as they were doing a project on Native American history involving our helicopters. Because our helicopters are named after Native American. That is that I I didn't. I am kind of ashamed that I have never noticed that before this very moment. But you are right. But don't feel (laughs) bad because I didn't realize that until I came to the Talent Brigade. Because I'm not aviation, so I didn't know what a Chinook or an Apache or an Akiwa or a Black Hawk was. I had no idea until I got here. And I learned everything aviation because of this wonderful aviation brigade and the soldiers and pilots and crew and everybody what, what? that's in it. You know. So what? anyway, so he covered that great deal over there with those folks. They got their train on, their learn on. And uh, good shout out to the schools out there. and They're doing great things. We also had 3-2 Gunnery that Sergeant Smith went out to. How'd that go yesterday? Was it oh, yesterday? It, yeah, it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. It went great. I didn't get to see all that much of the actual gunnery, uh-huh. but there was, I got to see the soldiers doing CLS training. Oh, that's Which cool. was pretty awesome. They were getting great training from our medics out there. So oh, man, those guys shout are, out to them. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely second to none. And, you know, if you don't know what gunnery is, it's when uh, our helicopters and the crew go out and they actually practice on their weapon systems. And not just on their weapon systems. If it's a Chinook helicopter, they actually practice lifting things up, putting Ooh. things down, you know, cargo, things of that nature. So a lot of great thing so i didn't even know cls was going on out there so that's that's a plus plus hey, hey. always training that's what i'm talking about uh yesterday while he was uh doing his thing out there at the three two gunnery shout out to the nightmare battalion by the way uh captain meyer of course you know is our new public affairs oic over at the talent brigade shout was, out shout out captain myers what's going on <laughs> ma'am the boss <laughs> more like a great leader but uh, we'll call her boss today uh, we uh, hosted some university students over at the 4th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion's Delta Company hangar. Big shout out to Delta Company for hosting those folks. They came in, they saw our helicopters, we shared our knowledge. And, uh, you know, thanks to, to those uh, death dealers, the 4th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion, for having us in there, being able to do that. Shout out to, what is it, First Sergeant Thomason, right? Thomas? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. Up. Yes, and. Uh, a lot of great things happening. Over Definitely. The yeah, and uh, hey, there's more happening, but obviously we can't talk about all of it so on the radio. More. So that's that's what's going on in the Talent Brigade, folks. You Second guys none. are super busy <laughs> over there. We're gonna Might come be. back and learn a little bit more about Sergeant Smith here on Talent Talk yes. since he will officially be taking over. What's your name? After this, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll be talking a little bit about the history of Talent Talk as well, how Sergeant Abril got this whole thing started. Bada bing, bada boom. Way back in the day. And this one is for you, Sergeant Abril. Oh, thank you. Here's some steam on AFNOs on the Eagle. Come back with us for Talent Talk.
And now, back to Talent Talk on AFN The Eagle, serving America's best. 2.15, back with Talent Talk in the house on this Wednesday Uh afternoon. It is Sergeant First Class Vincent Abril's last show. I'm going to miss y'all, man. I know, but it's not about you right now. We are going to meet uh, the new public affairs NCO over at the 2 Cab, Sergeant Jesse Smith. Welcome to Korea, Sergeant Smith. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm great. That's right. It's all about me now. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. You, uh, I'm just going to turn your mic off, Sergeant Abril. You just, uh, you just are are no longer part of the show. (laughs) (laughs) But Sergeant Smith, uh, when did you actually arrive? here to the pen I got here about four weeks ago now okay so you've had time to kind of adjust to the time difference and get over the jet lag a little bit yeah I'm definitely over the jet lag but most of the sp- time I've had here was actually at in processing not here at Camp Bumper. I was about to say Camp four Bumper, weeks so. where you been <laughs> <laughs> we've had things for you to do well Sergeant been. Smith <laughs> where are you coming in from where was your last post uh, Fort Stewart Georgia okay very cool where are you from originally Plano, Texas. Plano, Texas. Uh, no, no, I can't even. You didn't tell me you were bringing a fellow a North Texas uh, I don't citizen know in about here. Texas. You know, I'm from. I am from Van Alstine, York, you know? Texas, which is a tiny little town, um, a little bit north of oh, yeah? Plano. Well, guess so. where I'm going. No one cares. I, I thought we. I thought yeah. we decided you're no longer part Where's, of this. Show. Wasn't your mic turned off? Yep, we just turned <laughs> it back off. How long have you been in the Army now, Sergeant Smith? Uh, just over four years. Okay, and did you originally join as a public affairs uh, soldier? Uh, no, I did not. I came in as a uh, construction engineer, actually. Interesting. Uh, interior electrician, to be exact. Ooh. That's where he yes. got his name, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you kind of make the jump from interior electrician, is that what you said, yes. to public affairs now? Well, when I re-enlisted, I did not want to do construction engineer anymore. Just wanted something to change the pace, yeah. and public affairs is high octane all the time. Get to do my do my job all the time, so that's what I wanted. Absolutely. So, what is your favorite part of public affairs? Do you like writing stories? Do you like hanging out with me on the radio so far? I mean, he's only been here like ten minutes, but I think we're doing good. I'm sorry, I'm not here, so you can't look at me for <laughs> for recognition. What's your favorite part of the public affairs mission? Well, we'll see how the whole radio thing goes. Um, but no, I love writing stories and I love taking pictures. Oh, cool. Uh, that's my favorite part for sure. Awesome. So you'll definitely uh, see Sergeant Smith around the garrison over there putting a camera in your face, telling the story of the two cab. And I tell you what, Sergeant Smith has hit the ground running. I mean, he showed up and a day later he's already out in the field with, you know, Chinook helicopters hovering over his head. And that's what it takes. And he came here with a lot of vigor and he's ready to get the job done. And uh, we're certainly glad to have you, brother. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Welcome to Korea. Welcome to the Two Cab and welcome to Talent Talk. We'll be back with more from uh, the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade. Second to none, son. Right here on AFN O's on the Eagle. Taking a look at your weather, 62 degrees right now. Some scattered clouds around the area. Going to be partly cloudy for the rest of your evening. Overnight lows around 46 degrees. Tomorrow, sunshine all day long. High is 63 with a low of 38. And for your Friday, clear skies and a little bit chilly. Highs only in the upper 50s. Sergeant First Class Abril with your fuel prices. Hey, your exchange fuel prices for today, folks. Unleaded is $3.18. Wow. Premium at $3.55 and diesel at $3.76. And over to Army Sergeant Smith with your exchange rate. The exchange rate today down at the DOD Community Bank is $1 equals 1,052 won. So now's a great time to exchange your money, people. Absolutely. We will be back with more here on Talent Talk. Going to talk to uh, Sergeant First Class Abril about uh, where he's going. That's so important. He has to leave us. Oh, you're talking to me now? Oh, yeah. No, you're back. We <laughs> okay. let you come back. I'll allow it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Smith. I All of that it. coming up right here on Talent Talk on AFNO's on the Eagle. <laughs> and now, back to Talent Talk on AFN the Eagle, serving America's best. Yep, back here with Talent Talk 228 now. Got Sergeant First Class Vincent Abril. Hi, everyone. And uh, Sergeant Jesse Smith from Ooh. the 2 Cab in with us. 
You're doing like an NPR thing right now, Sergeant Abro. <laughs> it's very calm, very soothing. <laughs> and this is kind of, um, this is the end of an era for Talent Talk right now, seeing you head out to your next assignment in the Army because you actually started this show. Yes. Uh, yeah. How long ago was that? I think it was about three years ago uh, with Captain Bird. I don't know if you... You know, folks here and that uh you know there's such high Camp turnover Humphreys, here yeah. you know so we actually I, i'm like the co co-founder of talent talk uh and captain bird who was my public affairs oic back in those days named the show talent talk so which is a brilliant a name. collaborative effort uh and shout out to captain bird man i miss that guy dearly he's getting ready to retire so oh, wow. you know and then uh this would probably be my last stint for the army as i retire on the other end so wow. yeah it was a great great run though with talent talk but absolutely you, and we're gonna keep it going we're gonna make you proud i'm old news anyway look at the the young <laughs> Yeah, leave it to the young yeah, kids yeah, over you know, here. He's looking good, ready to roll, you know, the ready to make things happen and then bring you the great 411 on 2 cab. And, you know. So where did kind of the idea come from for you getting into the 2 cab, into Camp Humphreys, and you were like, you know what, let's do a show on <laughs> AFN. Well, that's funny because, you know, when I first started working in the public affairs office, it was an NCO slot that eventually turned into an officer slot. But when it happened, I never really left. I just stayed there. And I, I give all the, the credit and in, in respect to uh, Mr. Timothy Oberly, who was a specialist that worked in the public affairs office at that time. And he was like, you know what, we need an NCO in this office. I'm going to you know, see if we can get you up here. And he, he made some calls and we did some stuff. And I kind of did a little audition, and uh, I made the cuts, you know, really? and I went up there all because of Timothy Oberly. So, and then I stayed, and he was like, you know, what? I want you to do radio. I think, I think that you have a knack for radio. So, and, and that's how it really all started. So he he kind of gave me the idea to start a radio show, and and uh, along with the leadership and supervision of Captain Bird, we we put that uh, wheel into motion, and here it is today, three Absolutely. years running. The talent talk show, and, and I'm sad to leave, but it was a great run, though. But like I said, you got Sergeant Smith here now, Captain Meyer, they're all doing great things. And yeah, just what's been guy. some of the kind of memorable moments over the past three years for you here on the talent talk show? <laughs> well, there's a lot of funny moments, memorable <laughs> moments, but uh, uh, I don't know. It, 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 you know, sometimes we're with different DJs, so mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're with a DJ for one that may be filling in for one day, it's a it's, you know, that those are memorable moments because you never worked with them. So Right. You yeah. know, my most memorable talent talk moment wasn't with you, but it was um, Sergeant Adams. Uh -huh. And it was my, you know, first or second week here in Korea. And I had officially caught that Korean crud. Uh -huh. And I was terribly sick on the talent talk show. And I don't know if you can notice by uh, the show, but it's very loud and energetic in here for a talent talk show, especially <laughs> when Sergeant Adams was I tell you here. what, he brought this show to life, and that is for sure. And we certainly miss him. He's doing great things as a oh, chaplain yeah, now in, in the Army. And matter of fact, he's in Poland right now, oh, you know, leading soldiers and, and, and uh, uh, lift, lifting them up spiritually. So uh, shout out to uh, 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 my man, uh, Brother Adams. He's doing great things, and we certainly miss him. But he did bring the spunk to the oh, show. Man. He was the guy that coined the super gym, the super gym. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is a very memorable thing about uh Absolutely. About so, you know, Talent Talk just known for the energy, known for highlighting the amazing missions of the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade. And Sergeant Abril, we are so sad to see you leave, but we know that you're on to uh, bigger things for the Army. Where are you head to next? Well, my next stop is uh, in your home state, Texas, where uh, the wife and the family, and we're all heading to uh, Texas, uh, El Paso. Uh, Texas be hanging out there with all the the great people there in that area it's supposed to be the safest city in in the country so that we're gonna go judge that for myself <laughs> but we're excited about it you know and uh, Absolutely. we're I'm sad to see you guys uh, uh, say goodbye to you guys I'm not seeing you go you're seeing me go but I'm very very sad as well but you know what it's new times new beginnings and that's the way the world runs you know it's it's we flipping the coin, flipping the dollar, so it's time for me to go flip a dollar in another area. So. <laughs> you have uh, definitely made your mark here in Korea, though, and especially on AFN Osan. We're going to come back uh, on Talent Talk for Sergeant uh, Vincent O'Brill's last shout-out. Shout-out! Shout-out should, should be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be next right here on AFN Osan, the Eagle.
And now, back to Talent Talk on AFN The Eagle, serving America's best. 239, uh, back in the house with Sergeant First Class Vincent Abril Hello. and Sergeant Jesse Smith from the Two Cab P8 office. Jesse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I like least, that name. At least we only have one week with him, Sergeant Smith. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, they can't get me off this show soon enough. <laughs> I'm ready to go, I guess, huh? Uh, no, <laughs> or you're ready just, for me to go. We right? just have one <laughs> more thing left to do, Sergeant Abril. That's right, man. And that is some shut up. Oh, no. That's what I'm talking about. You this know, is all a long list, people. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You just, know, just, just sit back and uh, relax. <laughs> maybe grab yourself a drink. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. Sergeant Abril, the microphone is yours. You know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really bad, <laughs> but I love you. Uh, you know, it's been a great uh, four years in Korea. It's been a great three years with the uh, Talent Talk Show and the AFN crew. So I just want to do a sh- couple of shout outs to some folks that are near and dear to me. And uh, if your name's not on here, you're still near and dear to me, too. But uh, thanks for the airtime for doing this. No one else probably cares except for the people's names I'm about to read off. But, hey, thanks for tuning in anyway. And please tune in with uh, Sergeant Jesse Smith, uh, you know, next week. And you'll be able to get, you know, his take on this. Okay, let me let me, let me me stop rumbling. Anyway, I'd like to give a huge shout-out to the following folks. And, and, and I certainly appreciate you all for all that you have ever done for me. First of all, to all the soldiers in the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade, second to none. Second son. to none. They're always doing big and bad things, and, and, and bad things as in, like, cool things, not bad in a yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I certainly appreciate it. It was, a, it was a wonderful to watch in the last four years aviation do its thing it, it, for being a non-aviation person. So shout-out to all those great folks. I also want to give a shout-out to Captain Meyer, Captain Bird, Captain Morgan, uh, Mr. Tim Oberly, Staff Sergeant Aaron Duncan, Sergeant... Nicole Hall, Sergeant Beck, Sergeant Ahn Byung Hoon, Sergeant Park J. Hyung, Mr. Ed Johnson, Mr. Steve Hoover, all of the AFN Osan crew, especially Sergeant Burley. I'm sure he's not tuning in for his own <laughs> shout out. Battle. <laughs> of course, Chaplain Adams, who have always uh, uh, accompanied us on the show and made it uh, worth its while. Uh, USAG Humphreys folks out there, shout out to FMWR, the Fire Department, Department of Emergency Services, the Community Activity Center, USO. All those great folks over there at the commissary, and of course the, you know the PX over there. They're you know it's a small PX, but they take care of us. They do their best. All the folks that work in the mail room that keep mail coming in and out for our folks that are stationed here, boosting up the morale. I just want to give a shout out to everyone. My command team, uh, um, <coughs> Command Sergeant Major Estefan Soto Rosado, who has uh, given me some wings to fly. Thank you so much, Sergeant Major, and of course to Colonel William Taylor, our brigade commander. And anyone else out there who has ever done anything uh, to help me progress, I wouldn't be able to do what I was able to do in the last four years without you assisting me and making me a better person. And I learn from everyone, and I always take what I've learned and put it in my toolkit, and I'll move on, head out to El Paso. And uh, I hope and I wish for you, Sergeant Smith, uh, to have a wonderful time here in uh, the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade. And, of course, here at AFN with the AFN crew. You guys are always amazing, Sergeant Jones. I'm going to miss every single one of you. And so thank you all very much. And for all the Osan, uh, Suwon, and Camp Humphreys listeners, thanks for tuning in every Wednesday at 1,400 hours. Please don't give up on us. Check out the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade Facebook page. Check out all the great things aviation is doing right here on this wonderful peninsula, the, morning, uh, the land of the morning calm, all the great Korean folks that we have here that help us have a, a home stay. Well, we, I call it a home stay because I feel like I'm at home here. I Absolutely. really do. So, uh, And that's all I have. Sergeant Smith, what you got, brother? Well, I just want to give a shout-out to my battle, Sergeant Abril. My man. Thank yeah, you, man. just for showing me all the great public affairs things he does around 2CAB, and I just want to make sure and continue those great things for him. Thanks, brother, man. And, yeah, I guess I'm just going to continue with the trend and give my shout-out to Sergeant First Class Vincent Abril (laughs) as well for being always so gracious and kind and educating me on my brothers and sisters in green over there at USAG Humphreys. Um, You have accepted me like one of your own, like one of the members of 2CAB, and I cannot thank you enough for uh, all the the guidance and the love that you've shown us here at AFN. Thank you, Caitlin Jones. You guys are awesome. And, hey, Humpsan Turquoise. 
Hamsan Turquoise. I yeah, like it. Right. <laughs> and um, I we used to have a tradition at every AFN I've been to when we um, say goodbye to one of our members. We play a song. It's a semisonic closing time. So that is what we play you off to. Sergeant Abril, good luck in El Paso, and we will miss you, Battle. Hey, Godspeed to all of you. Thank you. That was Talent Talk with the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade on AFN The Eagle, serving America's best. Yeah.